All right, you swoop back to us there with the Jimmy Jib and welcome back to Morning Life. But the story that we've been following, not only this morning, but something that we've been following the whole of last week and again this week, is the situation in Mamelodi, where transport issues are a major problem. Conflict continues there between the taxis operating there in the area and the, uh, the new buses that are owned by Autopax, which uh, seem to be posing a major problem. Taxis now saying they're not going to be operating. And of course, who's... Uh, uh, really struggling and at the center of it all, the commuter. Patricia Fasaki has been covering the story for us and updating us each hour as to what's un, uh, unfolding there. So Patricia, let's get another update from you. What's happening? How are the commuters? Thank you, uh, Leanne. The situation still a very calm, peaceful, as of course uh, the taxi operators here in Mamilodi continue their total shutdown of all services. And of course, just a quick update on that report earlier that we received from uh, uh, some of the people here that a commuter was shot. We did manage to make contact with police spokesperson Colonel Lungelo Zamini, who told us they have not received any information. They don't know of anyone that was shot shot this morning. So it perhaps uh, uh, not very much clarity on that one. And of course, we will leave it at that for now, but we will continue to monitor the situation just to get the right information. But as I said, everything seemed peaceful, uh, but there's still no sign of any taxi operating. And I am now joined by some of the taxi executives in Mamilodi just to give us, uh, you know, their word on the ground as to what is happening. Uh, here on my right hand side, I am joined by uh, Borni Ndi and he is from uh, Mata. Um, so just an update from your side. Um, are you guys happy with the turnout today? Uh, but what I can say is that uh, we are not happy about the turnout today because of our commuters. But uh, the membership have listened to the leadership of the taxi industry for the cry of all the members of the taxi industry which their cars have been impounded. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, we have seen a few taxis uh, that are operating. Uh, yesterday, you guys did manage um, uh, mention that, of course, uh, it is a democracy and those who do not want to, you know, uh, uh, support uh, the stay away uh, are free to continue with their services. Yes, as we said yesterday, that this is a land of democracy. Uh, people, they take their own decisions and their own opinions, and then we are not forcing them to do that. But uh, we want as an association and the membership to run Mamilodi as one voice. Okay, thank you so much. On my left-hand side, I am uh, joined by Stemmer Munaching. So if you can just maybe give us an update. Have you managed to make contact with uh, government officials to discuss your dissatisfaction about the impounded taxis? What's the feedback on that? No, we, we cannot confirm that because we don't have a, a confirmation. It's just a rumor that the director is, is communicating with our leadership, but it's just a rumor. It's not something that I can confirm uh, until we've got a confirmation from our provincial leadership. Then I'll be able to say, it, yes, there is a communication or not. But for now, we are just happy about our operators who have uh, uh, honored uh, our call when we are saying let's stop, let's put our cars in the garage because we are afraid of them being impounded. All right, now you did mention uh, yesterday that if to, by the end of today you are not satisfied with uh, the uh, turnout of events, then tomorrow the whole of Gauteng will halt services. Uh, what's the update on that? No, that, that's correct. That's correct. Uh, we will hear from our provincial leadership if today nothing is happening. Tomorrow, our leadership from the province will call the total routing uh, shutdown. And if that's not happening as well, Monday, we call the whole country. Any taxi that's operate around the country will stop. Okay. Now, what about the commuters? I mean, people still need to get to work. They still need to get from point A uh, to B. Uh, are you not considering uh, the inconvenience that you're causing them? No, we are. We are definitely. And we are actually apologizing to them. But we are left with no option because even if we're trying to help them, the, the cars that we have remaining with us, they will be all taken uh, to the airport. So we won't have anything left to operate. And with that reason, we have no choice and we need their support because we are crying for the subsidy. They are paying a lot of money in our taxes. We want them to pay a reasonable money in our taxes as much as they are paying in their buses. 
All right. So thank you so much. Of course, there you have it. The word from the Mummy Lodi taxi executives. Um, they sticking uh, by their, uh, their by their guns, uh, saying that if by uh, this afternoon they don't have positive feedback from government, uh, tomorrow the whole of Gauteng will halt their services. And if by the end of the weekend they don't get positive feedback, then maybe on Monday no taxis will operate in the whole of South Africa. But we remain to see what is the turnout later today to see how this whole uh, story develop here in Mami Lodi. Back to you, Leanne. All right, Patricia, thank you very much for that update once again here on SABC News. All right, time now to get you some sports news. It's over to Valen.